In hundreds of studies on in-person deception recognition, people distinguish correctly between truth and lies only about 55% of the time. While trained police officers have demonstrated accuracy rates of up to 65% in controlled experiments, these low numbers suggest that even professionals trained to detect deception find it difficult to do so. With studies documenting accuracy rates of over 80%, statement analysis, or the examination of how words are used and what is said and not said in a statement, appears to be better at detecting deception and identifying omissions than traditional interview strategies. This course teaches you everything you need to employ investigative statement analysis. By using linguistic signals, you'll develop strategies designed to spot lies, uncover critical information gaps, and solve cases. Do you remember Susan Smith, South Carolina, 1994? Susan is eventually convicted of killing her two little boys. Her communication with the press is valuable to apply statement analysis and the indicators of deception. In three of these five statements, she uses past tense terms to refer to her little boys, indicating she knows what's happened to them already, that they are deceased. Using past tense is not a normal way to communicate in a missing person if you believe they are still alive. Through case studies, examples, and practical exercises, you'll learn how to collect valid statements, analyze those statements. This is a homicide statement from two gentlemen being investigated. The writer is deferring everything he did onto Bill. He's blaming the actions he took on Bill. And produce investigative questions based on your findings. Plus, this is an open course, so you can review material and reference key data before analyzing real-world statements. Don't leave your interview judgments up to chance. Become a better, more accurate professional, and obtain the truth with statement analysis.